Weather with Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to Local 3 News at 11. It's not good downstate in Gladwin County and also in Midland County. They're looking at severe flooding there on the Tibbohasi River and that river extending from Gladwin all the way through Midland and down towards Saginaw. And they're expecting with two dams that have failed in Midland County, they are expecting more flooding and the river to continue to rise. As we look at our local three radar network here, we're dry across lower Michigan. Thankfully, we're dry across upper Michigan, but as we close on in here, you can see that we do have flash flood warnings and even for the Tipahasi River, we do have a flash flood emergency for Midland County here, and that's because the dam breaks there. That's sending all that water downstream into Midland County, into the rest of Midland County, and into the city of Midland, where Governor Whitmer did have a press conference earlier this evening, and she indicated nine feet of water could be heading into the city of Midland. And then further downstream, we do have a flash flood watch that is in effect for Saginaw County for the Tipahasi River, and that's because we could be seeing more water head downstream towards the city of Saginaw. Widening out the view, dry conditions thankfully and that's where we lucked out with a couple of years ago with the Keweenaw the Copper Country floods we had a dry stretch of weather so that was some good news and they're expecting a dry stretch of weather down there as well and in fact all of upper Michigan and all of the state of Michigan is headed into a dry weather period as we go into the daytime hours on Wednesday Thursday and also Friday our next rain chance really doesn't come until the daytime hours on Saturday so let's put future cast here into motion here you can see that we will have dry conditions. I'm just going to let this run on through here as we go into the daytime hours on Wednesday and also into the daytime hours on Thursday. Not much in the way of precipitation. All the rain and thunderstorm action is remaining well to the south and west of us. So as we look at what's ahead here, we're looking at warm days for upper Michigan, but please use caution and common sense for outdoor burning. And then we're looking at rain chances to return for the holiday weekend. I know bad timing, but we could definitely use the rain around here, especially closer to Lake Superior and in the Keweenaw Peninsula where we missed out on this weekend's rain. All that rain staying to the south of those locations closer to the Lake Michigan shoreline. High temperature today officially at the Weather Service came actually early in the evening, 64 degrees, 44 degrees was the low temperature and downtown market at the West Coast Guard 53 was today's high, 40 was the low. Current temperatures, 47 downtown market at the West Coast Guard. We have 57 Sawyer International and we also have 56 degrees for Iron Mountain, 60 degrees for Orlando Lakes. As we look at low temperatures tonight with clear skies, we're going to see low temperatures tonight drop back into the 40s or the 40s. We'll have winds out of the east southeast, albeit light, at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. For your extended forecast, Marquette, Marquette County will have temperatures in the 70s, even a few 80s inland. And then as we go into Thursday and Friday, we're looking at temperatures warm inland, but a little bit cooler near Lake Superior. For the eastern UP. We're looking at temperatures in the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s as well. For the Escanaba area, same deal. Temperatures in the 70s, a little bit cooler near the lake shore. And then for the interior west, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 70s for Saturday, and maybe even 80s for Sunday. And then finally, for the Keweenaw Peninsula, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And into the weekend, everybody has a chance of at least maybe a few rain showers on Saturday and possibly a thunderstorm and then a rain or a storm chance as we go into the daytime on Sunday. Weather anytime on our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com and on Facebook. James will send it back to you.